الحمد للہ عز و جل ام اسٹڈ آؤٹ سائڈ فیضان مدینہ ان ایجوکیشن سینٹر ان ہڈس فیلڈ دس از اے ویری بیوٹیفل بلڈنگ دیٹ داوت اسلامی ہیز پرچیز ان ہڈس فیلڈ ویسٹ یارکشائر ان الحمد للہ عز و جل دی پلانز فار دس بلڈنگ ول بی دیٹ از گوئنگ ٹو بی ا مسجد ا مدرسہ ان آلسو پارٹ ٹائم جامعات المدینہ مدرسہ المدینہ فار بوائز اینڈ گرلز ایز ویل ان کورسز ان آلسو وی گوئنگ ٹو بی ہیونگ ماشاءاللہ مکتبۃ المدینہ and other activities of Dawat Islami. Let's go inside, inshallah, Azodal. Some renovation work is being carried out at the moment. We'll let you see how much renovation work and some uh, sneak preview of the building inside, inshallah. Azodal. Alhamdulillah, Azodal, at this moment in time, we're on the upper hall of Fezane Medina. And this is where we are planning to have an IT suite Uh, and also alhamdulillah azawajal we're going to have a, a, a disabled toilet and also a shower facility uh, for for the musalli and for those people who will be doing i'tikaf and brothers and islamic sisters will be traveling on the madni kafila this place here inshallah azawajal is going to be our new kitchen as well so this top whole area will be used for it suite uh, and also for madni kafila purposes inshallah let's go to the other hall and we'll see that as well inshallah azawajal Alhamdulillah, we're just coming uh, downstairs from the upstairs hall and this is where the main hall of Salah will be. Uh, this is the main prayer hall, inshallah, Azza wa Jal. Uh, as you can see, we've, uh, done, uh, we've taken a wall out from there. So all that area and this area, we um, uh, approximately, I think we estimated roughly about 70 to 80 people can fit for, for Salah as well. And for the Ijtima, we... Uh, alhamdulillah approximately roughly about 100 people easily can fit here for the ishtima as well uh, we've got also some space here as well uh, alhamdulillah um, we're going to use this room as an overflow room and also a classroom as well in the future so alhamdulillah it's an open plan area so we can be divided into classrooms this one and that one as well but this is going to be our main prayer hall This is going to be uh, the part of our new wuzu area. As you can see, there's some uh, toilet areas here. On the other side, there's going to be um, a disabled toilet as well. That's a need for the council and it's a need for our community. We need to cater for everyone as well. Uh, this side, there's going to be a wuzu area. These are the toilets as well, inshallah. So we'll go and see it to another room. Uh, this side here, that's going to be a disabled toilet. And uh, this is going to be the head teacher's office and the management office where all the activities will be run, the security room office as well, inshallah. It's all going to be wired up for CCTV as well. Uh, so alhamdulillah, this is the bottom floor. We've also got a couple of rooms, inshallah, I'll show you them. Uh, we've just come downstairs into the base room, uh, basement. Uh, this is the main entrance, inshallah, stairs going up into the garden. And this is where all the Islamic sisters activities will be happening and inshallah we'll show you the rooms as well inshallah and uh, this area has been uh, totally separate uh, separated for the islamic sisters alhamdulillah they'll have their weekly gatherings they'll have their classes as well and as you can see there was a wall in between and alhamdulillah we've taken out the wall it's a big enough room alhamdulillah i think roughly about 50 to 60 islamic sisters will easily fit here for the weekly ishtima because it's going to be a a weekly ishtima of this small area so it's more than enough alhamdulillah uh, that we could have two classrooms here we've got another room uh, that is there inshallah as well we'll, we'll, we'll give you the clips for that as well and downstairs inshallah as well it will be uh, there's a separate entrance for the islamic sisters the garden area will be used for uh, children's play area because we're going to have children's activities uh, this well. is the wuzu area Uh, for downstairs in the basement for the Islamic sisters, Alhamdulillah, there's uh, some washrooms as well. Some wuzu area will be here uh, and also a cloak room as well. So this is going to be used uh, initially for the Islamic sisters and the girls area as well, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, we're in the outside garden of uh, Fezane Medina. Uh, as you can see, there's going to be an electrical vehicle charging station as well. Uh, and also, Alhamdulillah, Azawajal, we're going to make this into... a play area for the children alhamdulillah we're going to have many activities for the children to cover as well uh, this side as you can see inshallah so then this is a separate entrance for the islamic sisters they can come through the main road or the islamic sisters can be parking their cars at the back of the building as well inshallah we've also uh, got this room as well alhamdulillah so uh, at the moment there's a lot of uh, stuff lying around 
uh, Maktabatul Madina stuff as well. But we have made a, a different Maktabat room as well. So this is going to be a classroom. There's one exactly the same size opposite as well. Uh, I would request the brothers, mashallah, so that who are watching this clip as well, for the sake of hereafter, our good hereafter, please try to donate as much as possible towards uh, the costs for the renovation work of uh, Fazani Medina. There are some things that we have broken down. Uh, we made some little projects and uh, we made them separately. For example, the CCTV cameras, the carpet, uh, and also uh, the, the prayer room area, the musallas, and all that kind of stuff. You can donate towards them, inshallah, for the uh, Isale Sawab of your loved ones. Please come forward and donate whatever you can. Maybe you can donate one whole package if that is what you can do. If Allah has given you and blessed you with that much money, please do help us with that as well. Whatever you can, inshallah, you'll see the account details at the bottom and at the end of the clip, inshallah, you'll see some of the packages that we are doing. Uh, hope to, uh, inshallah, we'll get this up and running within the next three to four months, inshallah. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.